This is the story of Hanukkah. Okay, so the Greeks were taking over a bunch of different places. They were making an empire of some kind. They decided to go conquer Israel, our holy land. They go up to the Jews and they're like, Hey Jews, we're going to improve your life by giving you running water. Ooh. Ooh. And the Olympics. Wow. wow. And Greek yogurt. Yay. Yay. So the Jews are like, okay, yeah, that's great. Thank you for uh, bringing this stuff to us, these modern improvements. The Greeks and the Jews coexisted for a while until a new king came along and was like, Hey Jews, uh, you're done being Jewish now, so come pray to our gods. And the Jewish people were like, uh, no, that literally goes against everything in our religion. We only believe in one God. And this king had like a little group that would go and rough up some of the Jews if they were being Jewish. And a lot of the Jews were like, oh, we do not want to be hurt. That's not fun. So we're going to conform to society. So along comes Mattathias, who had five sons, Eliezer, Simon, John, Jonathan, and Judah, who was nicknamed Maccabee. Maccabee means hammer in Hebrew. And they were like, yeah, we're the rebels, and we're going to go hide up in caves and study Torah. And if a Greek guard comes along and is like, knock, knock, are you studying Torah? I hope the heck not. We're just going to be like, oh, ho, ho, this... We're just gambling with this spinning ancient Beyblade here. Let thine rip. <laughs> yeah, dreidel really sounds like something that was made up on the spot. So at a certain point, Judah, one of the five sons and the only one that's really ever remembered. He was a really good community organizer. So he says, what if we rose up against the Greeks? And then his fellow Jews were like, yeah, no, that won't work because there's a lot of them and only a few of us. And he's like, yes, but if we work together, we can kick the Greeks out of our town for good, and then everyone can practice Judaism free in the open. They go to war. Pew, pew, gag, blah, blah. Ah, punch, 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 And they win. The Jews win. By some miracle. It's the miracle of Hanukkah. Well, there's actually multiple miracles of Hanukkah. Uh, this is just one of them. They win, and they are celebrating, and they go over to the Holy Temple, and they see that the Greeks had come in and been mean and punched walls and threw columns down. They destroyed everything. Look how they massacred my holy temple. And they even spilled all of the oil that's supposed to fuel the holy light, the Ner Tamid. Once it's like spilled onto the ground, it's no longer super holy. So they can't just like scoop it up and put it in. They found a small jug with just a little bit of oil. And they're like, oh my gosh, no! It's gonna take eight whole days to make more holy oil. Oh, that that's not gonna last us for that long. We're just gonna light it for now, just to sort of signal, hey, we won. And this is where Miracle 2 comes in. It lasts eight whole days. It's like having your phone on low battery, but it survives without a charger for a week and a day. Amazing! Yeah. So it's because this small group of Jews banded together and defended their right to practice their religion that we're still around today. So what do we do to celebrate Hanukkah? Well, we play dreidel. The game of dreidel that they were playing in the caves, uh, the dreidel has four sides. There's gimel, you get everything. None, nothing happens. Hey, you only get half of the pot of gelt. And shin, you have to put one of your gelt pieces into the pot. The Hebrew letters actually stand for something. It's nes gadol haya sham, which means a great miracle happened there. But in Israel, it's nes gadol haya po, which means a great miracle happened here. And we traditionally give gifts to our loved ones. To honor the miracle of the oil, we eat a lot of deep fried things like Yum. donuts and latkes. They but, are glorified hash browns. But there's also another great debate about what's the best topping to put on them. Some people like applesauce, some people like sour cream. We stand around and sing songs. Hanukkah is also referred to as the festival of lights because we light the menorah for eight nights in a row. That's right. We put our menorah in the window so we can share our light with the world because it's like really cold and dark outside during this time of year. It's also a time to be around friends and family. The end! Happy Hanukkah!